Yeah, I, I think that food security is so fundamental to global development. Uh, it's one of these things that every human being needs to eat. Uh, when they don't have enough food to eat, they oftentimes riot, they migrate. In some cases, people perish and die. Um, there's a reason that, that food security is the second uh, SDG. Uh, it is fundamental to building block uh, sustainable development goal. Uh, so it's important to have conversations about food security. Well, I, th I think, I mean, these are the conversations that we have in the real world, uh, the conversations that they're having around the simulation table. I think that you know, the problem solving element of it is very important. Uh, students have to deal with trade-offs, most importantly, I think. Um, we can't fund everything, so we have to be very strategic about uh, the interventions that we ultimately choose. Uh, and I think that a simulation like this that's well built, um, has all the key elements of food security built into it, uh, provides a really good platform for students to be thinking about those critical trade-offs. And so um, I think that they can learn a lot about teamwork. They can learn a lot about the concept of food security. They can learn uh, how different regions interact with one another. Um, we do have a global food system, uh, and so it's important for these groups to be working uh, in teams in the way that they are. Um, so I think it's, uh, it's multidimensional. Uh, it really does, I think, accurately reflect real-world conversations. I think really enlightening, actually. Um, I have been hugely impressed with the quality of the students um, and the decisions that they're making. Uh, the teamwork has been phenomenal uh, and how quickly they've picked up the tool itself. Um, the simulation and the, and the model that we're working with is very sophisticated. There are a lot of indicators to be monitored uh, across a variety of regions at a country level. Um, and they've picked it up and they're using it, um, I think, uh, really well. Well, I mean, this is it. This is the generation that is uh, going to solve global hunger. I think for the first time ever, um, we have the opportunity to eradicate hunger from the face of the world uh, in this next generation. We have the tools, we have the technologies, we even have the resources. What is lacking is excitement and political will around eradicating hunger. Uh, so that's really what uh, I think these students can, can bring back to, the, uh, to their universities and to eventually to the places that they work. Uh, I hope many will be excited by what they see today uh, and want to get involved in food security going forward uh, because it's critical that we have this next generation active, excited, and motivated to, to tackle this. I think so. Uh, this is another thing that the, this simulation does very well, is it demonstrates that we can achieve food security uh, and the second uh, sustainable development goal by 2030. It makes it feel realistic because the simulation is data-driven and shows them that it can happen. Uh, we've had incredible success, I think, with the Millennium Development Goals. 72 out of the 100-some countries that we're monitoring have were successful in having hunger in that period. and so. Uh, we think that it is a very reasonable uh, objective and a goal to try to eliminate hunger by 2030.